I feel like I've been hearing for years that we're researching cures to cancer and soon we're going to beat this. Why is it taking so such a long time when it's such a desperate situation? Well, you know, I think there's a number of things there. I mean, firstly, cancer's not one disease. And I think that's really important to, you know, to think about cancers, you know, a hundred or more different diseases. We can think about breast cancer, we can think about childhood leukemias, we can think about testicular cancer, where if there's been enormous advances, you know, the um, survival rate, the cure rate from some of these tumour types is just incredible compared to where we were 20 years ago. Yes. We can think about other tumour types, other cancers, you know, some forms of lung cancer, we can think about pancreas cancer, where we've really made no headway at all over the last, you know, 20 years. Um, I think it's important to keep sight of the fact that we are making enormous strides in certain types of cancer, but they're not huge cures, you know, there's not like one thing that happens and then everybody is cured of a certain cancer. It's a slow, you know, increase, a slow improvement. But certainly, if you think back 20 years ago and you look at women who were diagnosed with breast cancer, the, the prospect for them was so much more grim than it is today. Um, and of course, we want to get to the point where all of these cancers are manageable, either curable or manageable. You know, I always think I want to get to the point where when somebody's diagnosed with cancer, they think, OK, well, we'll figure this out. We'll get on with it. You know, and I think we are getting to that point. And you know, I think we underestimate the progress that we're making.